That's how you do that, man. I got a I gotta plug in my uh, trailer brakes first, and then uh, pull my trailer back in the in the truck. That's the only way I can hook up the infinity. It's so heavy, but it will roll back. It won't let me hook up over here. But it looks like it's hooked up. Let's see bird. You hear that? Yeah, they're singing. Was he under the trailer or something? No. Good morning, it's 7.04 a.m. of course, where we're gonna move 14 vehicles. Let's see how long this takes. We have multiple SUVs, um, large Suburbans, just a variety of vehicles. And of course, you brought the Infinity today because with 14 vehicles, we're gonna have to do three loads. We're very busy loading on this load. I had to do inspections and we quickly wanted to load because it's a long day, but this is the first load. Now again, this is a load, and as you can see, we have four SUVs and one, one sedan. And I did the high stick, and I think I got 13.4. I got 13.6. That's a high point. Because over here is low. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, you don't go off that, you go off the highest, which is going to be like right about here. See? 13.6. Okay, guys, you're looking out. You're looking at a full load today. And what I did a little different because I'm getting to know my trailer, I uh, backed this one up. So last time, that one was uh, uh, forward. Yes. And I was uh, I was okay. I wasn't overweight. I took that two box off over here. But I think by doing that, I'll take another thousand pounds off. So I'm thinking I'm not gonna weigh it today. I don't have time because I gotta come back for some more. Uh, but I'm thinking I'm gonna be uh, maybe 11, maybe maybe 10, 5, 10,500 on the drive. So look at this. It's a big load right here. This this one I, I put it back there because it takes a lot of room. The Tesla. And um, last time I put a big old SUV. I think it was a Ford Expedition, and we had to take it off. So keep in mind, you can put a small uh, SUV right here. No, not a problem. But this one, being a little longer, I put that on the number one spot. Number two spot, being a little longer. Well, but you know what? Between these two, they're the same. They're almost the same. They uh, are the same car. No, I think they're the same car. Yes, <laughs> My bad. Okay. So, so number one is a uh, Nissan Rogue. Number two and number three are um, Buick Encores. Then this is a, a Tesla number three, and then a Tesla Y, which is an SUV. So this Tesla and the other Tesla, they take a lot of room. So on my ramp, I had to overhang it about three inches so I could put my hook, my strap. And I'll go ahead and show you what he's talking about. So he used all the room that he had on the bottom deck for the three vehicles. Of course, the Encore is a, is a short, it, it's not very long. It's, it's pretty. But he had to use the ramp to place his hook. And that's one thing about the Infinity, how the ramps came out, come out, you can do that. This is a badass trailer. Look at this, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I used to like, oh, I can't do this because I got the easy four. But now it's like, You have shit. options. I, it's like it opened up new gates for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, just, I've been blessed. You know, go to church every Sunday. <laughs> you got to believe, guys. Have faith in yourself and, uh, you know, you get there eventually. Follow your dreams. There you go. Don't let nobody put you down or, or you know, explain to them. Let's go. Let's, <laughs> let's <take> them. <laughs> no, you, you said it well. So we're going to go ahead and move. We're going to go ahead and deliver these to Odessa. And then we're going to come back for two more loads. A total of 14 vehicles. And we just left nine behind. Now, one of those vehicles, a Ford Explorer, is in the shop. So we're not sure if they're going to cancel that load or if we're going to in that vehicle or if we're actually going to take it. So right, we'll find out. Mind, whenever you back up an SUV right here, these do balance a lot, so you want to keep at least a little fist in here. 
about three inches. You don't want it too close. You damage this plastic thing. Yeah. And then you gotta duct tape it and don't report it. Oh, whatever. So then he, um, like I mentioned before, he took off all of his chains off of the Infinity because he, he just knew he wasn't gonna wear, use them. And that way he didn't have to deal with strapping them and securing them and everything. It's 9.40 a.m. It's super windy here. We're going to go ahead and unload these five vehicles, park them somewhere over here, lock them up, and then go back and pick up more. It's 11.15. I went into the facility because we are missing one vehicle that's in the shop, so that took a while. But he has four lined up, and this is his second load. Now the first load had four SUVs in a car and this load also is going to have four SUVs and a car. There's a car. One, two, three, and the blue SUV there. Now of course he's going to go ahead and back up the car in first position. And then he's going to drive on the second to back up number three on the bottom spot. Now this is the second load and on this load we have, um, we also have four SUVs at the very, let's see, number one is a Subaru SUV, then a Ford Escape and number two, another, possibly another Ford Escape and number three, a Tesla Model 3 and number four and a Hyundai Tucson and number five. So this is the load and he's, um, he did the weight at the height stick and he's at 13.7 I believe. So the second load of the day, we're gonna go ahead and take these to Tracy, Odessa and Tracy, and then we're gonna come back for one more load. So with this load, it's 10 vehicles so far. See, there's four SUVs on this load with one car. The Tesla Model 3 is in number fourth position, which is right there. And then the other four are SUVs. 13.6 is the height. I don't know. That's too much moving around. That's scary. That is way up there, huh? Oh my god. Oof. It's 2.30 and we're back for the last slope. First car is loaded. I think it's a Hyundai Sonata. And the nice thing about this trailer is you can have a car right there on the bottom and you can still do wedge on the top. So that's what we plan to do. We're gonna go ahead and put the Tesla, drive it straight on on number one, and then wedge the other two SUVs. It's three o'clock and this is the last and final load for the day. Number one, there's a Tesla Model 3. Number two, a Suburban. Number three, a Hyundai Sonata. And number four is a Ford, a big Ford. So this is the last, the last load. And today we did 10 SUVs and four cars, a total of 14 vehicles. Yeah. See, is this the way you were gonna do it? Yes. Yeah, but what if you do all this, it's best just use your feet and see if it's gonna work. No, you're right, but I, I no, saw no, that. No, no, but there's two options with this. How's that? It was going to be this one, or I would have to put two on the top, raise the ramp all the way to the top, so I get that suburban over there. There's uh, two, two different ways of doing this. I knew it would fit like this, but I wanted to get the longer of the two vehicles here because if you notice, there's still plenty of space down here. Like if this if this car was longer, it would still fit. Whereas a longer car up there, we wouldn't have we may not have space for the SUVs. So it's important in this case to put the longest one here, short but long, and then the shorter one up there. Last load of the day, this is a total of 14 vehicles. We need to take these to Tracy, and then once we get there, I have to do all the delivery inspections, and then we're going to run them all in. So what happened? This is the last load of the day. Oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> 
since it's Friday and we have to come back on the 205, hopefully we don't run into too much traffic. Okay guys, I think we just broke a record. We did a uh, 14 vehicles. There's a reason I bought this Infinity. Because what the Kaufman can do, you can do big vehicles, but you can put more on this Infinity right here. I did three loads. First one was five vehicles. Second one was five vehicles. Third load was a uh, challenge. 